Hey guys, finally it's here, the video where I'm going to answer your questions and I would say let's just start with the very first question straight because I got over 300 questions from you and in this video I'm going to answer 30 questions out of 300. So let's just start with the very first question. Where are you from? I am originally from Turkey but uh, I was born and raised in Germany. So I live in Germany and in Turkey. You know like Turkey is my home country but uh, Germany is the country that I was born in and raised in and I grew up in that country so it also obviously feels like home. What's your age? I'm 25. I was born on 14 July 1997. I always wonder your height. How tall are you? Google says 168. So first of all, please don't believe anything that Google says or anything that you read on social media because those information are not verified. I've Googled myself once and I, I saw information about myself where I'm just like, oh wow, I didn't know this myself. So if you want to get to know me better, this video might help. I hope it does. What's your blood group? A negative, but I'm a positive person. Why did you change your name from Elif Khan to Elif Karaman? By the way, I'm a big fan from Egypt. Um, lots of love to you. Big love to you all. Um, this is a very important question because I get this quite a lot. I answer to this question actually on a few interviews, but um, I hope once and for all in this video we get this clear. Uh, when I started with YouTube in 2014, um, I did not expect anything. I had no intentions at all. And back then, uh, such thing as influencer or uploading videos on social media was not a big thing. No one was actually doing that. I was always dancing. It was always a big thing in my life. Whenever I learned a new dance, I went to my mom. She was my audience, my only audience. I was like, mom, see what I've learned. She was like, oh, camera, like she wanted to film it. You might relate to that. You know, you go to your mom, you're like, see what I've learned. Yeah, and then my brother was like, uh, why don't you just uh, upload these videos on YouTube? Just create a channel and upload it, then, like a portfolio or something. Uh, I didn't think much about it. No one did. And I uploaded my videos. But of, of course, before uploading the videos, I need to create a name. And I don't want to use my own name, like Elif Karaman is my real name. I was born with this name. So if you hear the name Khan, you're like Amir Khan, Salman Khan, Shahrukh Khan. So it's, it's Bollywood, right? Without thinking for too long, I was like, hmm, let's take the name Khan because that is close to Elif Karaman, the K and the A. And this is how it went. Time has passed and I have realized, I don't know when I have realized, but at some point I was like, okay, so this is getting serious. Like, wow, like I didn't expect this. I was so thankful. I'm still feeling the same emotion that I was feeling years ago. I still feel the same thing, like this gratitude, this... I'm still so thankful and I don't take this for granted at all. Time has passed, months, years, and I decided to uh, use my own name, Elif Karaman, because there was a lot of confusion. So they were like saying she's from India, she's from Pakistan, which is not a problem at all, but I wanted people to know where I'm really from, you know? So authentic is the word here. I wanted to be authentic and stay authentic. And this is how I went from Elif Khan to Elif Karaman. Basically, to make it short, I wanted to use my own and real name. Clear? Good. <laughs> What's the meaning of your name, Elif? Elif is Turkish, but the origin is Arabic, Alif, and that's the first letter of the Arabic alphabet. Elif means slim, and there are a few more meanings. I mean, you have to Google it, like, yeah. What are your hobbies other than dancing? I love video games, painting, drawing. I love writing, like anything with the, with, with a pen. I love doing sports. I love bicycling, I love going out for a walk, especially when the nature is beautiful and the weather is fresh and I love to sing, I love to hang out with friends, I love to watch movies, who doesn't? I love to bake, yeah! <laughs> I'm pretty sure when, when I'm editing this video I'll be like, oh my god, I forgot to mention this and this and this. Anyway, so I love to bake a lot and I love to cook, I think that's enough, right? I mean, I don't even remember the last time that I was bored because I always have something to do. Like, I always find something to do. What's your qualification? I'm a certified motion designer, video editor, like cutting and anything that belongs to video editing. And I'm a self-made dancer. And in COVID times, I did a lot of certificates when it comes to teaching, language, intercultural differences and all that. So yeah, I was quite 
busy with studies in COVID times. How many languages have you learned till now? Your brain is amazing. I have no idea how to react when I get a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Kamsamdala. Teshikure didim. Shukriya. Dhanyawad. Merci beaucoup. And so on. I was. Uh, I grew up with German and Turkish, so I had. I don't have to learn German and Turkish because I grew up with those languages. But I have learned uh, English in high school and French for four years also in high school. Then I've taught myself uh, Hindi with a small book. But uh, I decided to go to a class in Cologne because I wanted to learn the language faster and more intense. And yeah, actually that helped me to improve my A1 level in Hindi. So I to Hindi or Urdu. And right now I'm self-learning Korean. So I speak German the best, English, Turkish, Hindi, French, and now Korean. I love languages. I love to learn languages. That's also a hobby, actually. Yeah, that's also my hobby. Learning languages is just my... It's, it definitely belongs to my hobbies. Are you self-learning Korean? If yes, can you share some tips, please? Yes, I'm self-learning Korean. I got this self-study book. It helps you learn the whole Korean language from start to end. So I would suggest you to get yourself a self-study book uh, in your language. I got mine in German. And I definitely recommend to start with Hangul. That's the Korean alphabet. You know, consonants, vowels, as their language and the way they write is absolutely different, right? So the first thing that I had to learn is how to read their writing. I started very slowly. When I saw something in Korean, I was trying to read that and now I can and I'm... It's, it's a very, very nice feeling to learn a new language. It, like, you, you feel proud of yourself. I mean, the year is still new and it's never too late. Maybe this is a sign for you. Why don't you learn a new language? You will feel so freshed up, believe me. It's, it's such a nice feeling. And by the way, it's also very helpful to follow like language teachers on social media. I'm following like Korean teachers and I've also decided to go to a Korean class to learn the language more intense and faster. How did you first get introduced to Bollywood and what made you like it? I actually never got introduced to Bollywood. I was born with it. Uh, so yeah, my grandmother was watching Bollywood always. My mom fell in love with Bollywood. My aunt too, like my mom's sister. And now look at me. On my YouTube channel, you can find videos where I was a child and dancing on Bollywood songs. Like, I was always a big fan of Bollywood. What made you like it? You know, when you're drained and when you're kind of feeling depressed or not well or you just want to get cheered up, then you watch these old Bollywood movies and all of a sudden your mood is like... Whoosh. Yeah, I mean, I mean just, just the vibe, you know, love, family, the bond and the music, the clothes. It was, it was like Disney, actually. Bollywood is giving comfort feeling. Comfort, 100%. How did your love for Bollywood and K-pop start it? Bollywood, we already talked about this. Uh, K-pop, well, 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 well. Korean dramas are like... Wow, I have no words to describe the work of the Korean industry. So my love for Korean dramas have started in 2019. My family was always a fan of Asian movies. So when I was a kid, we were also watching Asian movies. We were watching a lot of Jackie Chan movies. I don't know, what was the name of this one movie? I remember there were sharks. I remember that Jackie Chan was going through buildings and all that. They were like big, big bodyguards. Maybe you know what I'm talking about, but I remember that movie. We were watching this a lot. Anyways, so my family always loved watching Asian movies. So I always had a lot of love for Asian movies. The real focus and sharing this to the world that my love and interest about Korean movies, especially K-dramas, have started in 2019 or 2020. How do you maintain your emotional control? I write in my diary. But, you know, when you get so drained, you have no energy to write in your diary also. But what helps is sports, dance sports. <laughs> Makes sense. Bicycling, going out for a walk, nature, fresh air, video games. My hobbies are related to maintaining my emotional control. What is your current mental state? Some months ago you said you aren't doing well mentally. I actually started healing um, last year because for three years straight I was mentally completely not doing well. If I go into the details then the video is going to be like super long. I'm doing very good, thank god. I'm detoxified. <laughs> What's your priorities? My priority is definitely love. And you can put anything in this word. Family, friends, relationships. I love to cherish 
my bonds. What makes you happy? Family, friends, friends that are like family, a good conversation, fresh air, good weather, autumn like fall season, good food, dancing, being with my mom, details. Yeah. What irritates you the most? Ooh. A dirty surrounding. Literally irritates me. Otherwise, impatient people, disrespectful people, undisciplined people. We learn discipline in a very strict way in Germany. The food that you can eat every day. Yeah, anything but dough. Is it bread? Is it croissant? Pizza buns? German buns? Mmm. Simit. Best K-drama series movies you have watched. Crash landing on you. No words. Hometown cha-cha-cha. Super cute. The voice. Or voice only. Voice was also... Wow. It's, it's thriller. What genre of music do you like best? I love to dance, so obviously I love music. I would do injustice to the genre that I don't mention. Jazz, I love blues, I love country, I love pop, I love Bollywood, I love Korean, K-pop, classic, anything with drums, sometimes even rave. Like, I love music. Winter or summer? I love winter, I love when it snows and it gets cozy, you know, with the blanket, hot chocolate. But then there is summer. Longer days, especially where I live in Germany. The fields, the valley, the forests, fun fairs and all that in Germany. You have Stranger Things vibes. If I decide according to my mental health, then summer is much better for me. But anyways, I'm a fan of autumn, fall season. On every Bollywood song that you dance, how do you match your steps perfectly with the beats? Thank you. You know, I think that if you love music and if you're able to feel the music, you have dancing to the lyrics and dancing to the beat. If you are a true music lover, then you can feel the beat and dance to the beat. So I think the answer is passion. What do you love about Istanbul the most? Metro, metro station, like the subway stations. You can go from A to B very easily. I can find anything and everything in Istanbul. Yeah, the weather, the buildings. Like sometimes you feel like you're in a fairy tale. You have a lot of opportunities in Istanbul. The food, the food is amazing. Foreigners, I love to see foreigners in Istanbul. The vibe, yeah. You have to be in Istanbul to understand what I mean. And I hope you have a great time here. Have you ever had your heart broken? If yes, how have you changed the pain in a positive way? Yes, I mean, who has not got their heart broken yet? Like, I think we live in a world, unfortunately, where there are many, many broken hearts. Sometimes you give people power over you because you love them very much. Can be family, can be friends, can be relationships. And they use this power against you. If they truly loved you, they would not break your heart in such a way that you are like devastated. Give yourself time, allow yourself to feel pain. And how I changed uh, the pain in a positive way was in a creative way. Like I decided to be more creative and I was good to myself. You say nice things to your friends too, so say nice things to yourself as well. I kept telling myself, this this won't be forever, this won't be forever, you know? Just chill, let it happen, go out for a walk. I, I tell you, like, walking in the nature really helps me. So I was not thinking negative about the pain. This is the key, I guess. It does help day after day. Give yourself time, have patience. If you have a broken heart right now, you'll be okay. Believe in yourself. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given? So this is connected to the previous question. My family and friends kept telling me, Elif, you need to know when to let go. Because I tell you one thing about me, what I don't like also. I fight too hard. If I decide to let something go, then I feel bad because I don't want to let go. I want to fight and I want to make it work. But if you are the only one fighting or you're fighting for nothing literally, then you will end up broken. So my family and friends were like, Elif, you need to know when to let go. You're fighting for nothing. And then I got an advice from my brother. He said, stop choosing what isn't choosing you. Do I have to say more? How do you deal with criticism? Honestly, I'm very cool with it. If my mom criticizes me, then I know that there must be something. Because she would never just criticize me for no reason. I know that this person only wants my best. So... I take it serious, I think about it, and I try to improve. If criticism comes from someone where you clearly know that this person actually doesn't want your best, I mean, do I have to say more? <laughs> what keeps you motivated during tough times? What advice would you give to your younger self? P.S. I love you so much. Love you too. I love all of you. Whenever I have a tough time, 
then I think about Elif, this is not forever. Any emotion that we have is not forever. You know, life is not this. Life is not this. Life is also not this. Life is this. We have ups, we have downs, and all of a sudden up down, and then we have normal phases, boring phases, and up and down. Life is this, you know. That's why I always say to yourself, this is not forever. I feel sad. I know I feel sad, but this will pass. I will have better days. It can only get better. And the advice that I would give my younger self, don't push too hard. Go with the flow. Try to improve yourself. Try to be a better human being day after day. Keep going. Stay strong. And you got this. Enjoy the little things in life. What are your future plans? Since a year, I told myself I'm not gonna plan my life and life is unpredictable. I go step by step. And since I've decided to live like this, I'm much more chilled and relaxed. To answer the question, of course, like um, my mom and I, we are planning to visit Seoul, South Korea. But I don't know if it's going to happen this year. I hope so. Let's see. Career-wise, I will go with the flow. Maybe some performances on festivals in summer. But that's not clear. I will keep dancing. It is a part of me and I love dancing. It's my hobby. I won't stop dancing. In future, I will also dance with my children. <laughs> How is life lately? Life is good. I have food to eat. I have a roof over my head and um, a bed to sleep on. I'm blessed, thankful, and um, I'm thankful for my community. I have a very supportive mom. I'm, I'm thankful. The last question. What's your real goal? My real goal in life a good human being sounds boring maybe but this is really my goal like i don't want to cause injustice i want to stay true to my feelings and always be an honest human being keep my respect i would love to have enough power to help poor people i mean we do what we can with the family here but um more you know more i want to have enough power to help organizations and all that that would that would be amazing that that's my real goal yeah help people <laughs> i hope you know me better now i hope the confusion is cleared also with elif khan elif karaman thanks for watching this video thanks for watching my videos in general i love you all so much thank you for always being with me and having my back and going this journey with me together take good care of yourself and god bless you stay healthy love you bye bye